So, what is a palindrome, Anna? A palindrome is a sentence that reads the same, mm. both forwards and backwards. I'll give you an example. In English, you have the words civic or level. These two are palindromes. Mm. Wait, I got a word. Mm, madam. Yeah? Yes, yes. In Tamil, there is a word. Um, Vikatakavi is a palindrome, is it not? You're right. And in Hindi, you have Damad. Ah. And sometimes a whole sentence can be a palindrome. For example, Madam and Adam is hmm. a palindrome. Or, um, was it a rat I saw? Was it a rat I saw? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're right. Here is an example of a sloka from the 14th century compilation of verses called the Ramakrishna Viloma Kavyam which was written by Daivigya Surya Pandita. This compilation has 40 slokas which can be read in both directions. Hmm. Here's an example of one of the slokas. Tam bhusuta mukti mudara hasam bandeyato labhya bhavam dayasri which means Sita, the incarnation of Lakshmi who is affectionate towards a smiling lover, Sita's son. Now, if this sloka is read backwards, it becomes Sri Yadavam Bhavya Latoya Devam Samharada Mukti Muta Subhutam which means the teachings of Gita bestowed upon us by Lord Krishna who by his benevolence draws the public towards him destroy evil and are close to our heart. There are 40 slokas in this work. If we read the slokas in the forward direction, it deals with the story of Ramayana. And if we read the same 40 slokas in the reverse direction, it deals with the story of Mahabharata. Mm. So this kind of flexibility is possible only in Sanskrit and maybe to a limited extent in some other Indian language. No wonder Sanskrit is called the Deva Bhasha. And I don't think there's any other language in the world that has both the depth and reach of Sanskrit. Absolutely. Learn Sanskritam the authentic way.